couldn't the kids see what they're running into? It's all because of light. How do we see the tiniest things with a microscope? It's all because of light. How do cameras take pictures? It's all because of light. If you actually travel at the speed of light, you can travel around the entire Earth 7.5 times every second. Light is actually the fastest thing in the universe. Can you believe we can manipulate such a thing? Hi, I'm Ryan, and today we're exploring how to manipulate light to make our lives more interesting and convenient. Back before we knew how to manipulate light, we struggled to see. If it was dark outside, our choice was only to use candles, oil lamps, and barely that even helped. And if we had bad vision, well, good luck to you. There were no glasses, no contacts that could help you. You would have to survive, even when everything around was blurry or impossible to see. Then, in the 13th century, the first pair of glasses were invented. They were very large and could only help people who couldn't see things really close to them. They weren't very good. But later in the 18th century, Benjamin Franklin invented the first pair of modern glasses. These glasses were small. They helped people who couldn't see things either near them or people who couldn't see things far away. We called them bifocals. The 19th century included Thomas Edison's light bulb, which was much, much brighter than the candles and oil lamps. Now, people didn't have to live in darkness. Fast forward to today, we can manipulate light in more sophisticated ways, not only to make better lights and glasses, but to make telescopes, cameras, microscopes that help us see and capture the entire world and universe around us. One of the most common ways that we manipulate light is with mirrors. You can see yourself in a mirror. It's because light is reflecting off the mirror back to our eyes. In today's lab, we'll be showing you two ways which you can use the reflective properties of mirrors to manipulate light and change what we see. Have you heard of a kaleidoscope before? It creates these mesmerizing optical images, creating a symmetrical repeating pattern of pictures. So when you're ready, let's go ahead to the lab and explore how we can manipulate lights to make really cool things. For this lab, you'll need three small mirrors, a sheet of paper, a three by five card, some tape, a couple of markers. First, you're gonna tape the mirrors onto the paper like this. After that, you're gonna wanna roll it up into a triangle and tape those mirrors together, forming a triangle shape. Then take your three by five card and draw some beautiful pictures on it. Simple shapes, colors, different variants, Poke your toothpick right through it, right through the center, and you can tape that on to the triangle kaleidoscope. Now, as long as you leave a little gap for light to come in, you can just rotate it around and see these incredible images. If you want a different picture to see, just take it off, turn it around, color new picture. You can color as many pictures as you want to make your kaleidoscope whatever you want to see. Your kaleidoscope is done. Try looking through it. What do you see? If you imagine a flashlight, or a laser pointer, or a beam of light. It's always moving in a straight line. If you imagine using a flashlight, there's a single bulb or maybe a couple with a lot of mirrors to point it in one direction. You can also use a laser pointer, which shoots a beam of light always in a perfectly straight line. There's a lot of fun we can do with these laser pointers. Be safe, they can hurt your eyes. So don't shine in your eyes, okay? We can use these little mirrors to manipulate this laser pointer and make any shape we want. A square, a star, anything. Today, I wanna to show you how you can actually use these mirrors to bend light around an object. So in case there's a wall or something in your way, you can still see through it, still see around it. So first, you're gonna arrange these mirrors so that they point light using our laser pointer to see, connecting all the mirrors around this object. Great, once you've organized all of the mirrors in the right angles, you'll notice this light bends right around the object. Now, let's see if you put your eye level where the, the laser would be, you can actually see the picture on the other side. I know it can be hard to see this laser beam, it's kind of invisible. All you need is a little bit of hairspray and voila, it magically appears because it's shining on all the little particles that are in the spray. Now that's a cool laser. So in both of these labs, what's happening to the light? What we see is the reflected light that enters our eyes. In both our labs, we are bouncing the light in specific ways so we can see something 
special. In the kaleidoscope, the three mirrors reflect the light many, many times, so when it reaches your eye, you see many multiples of the original image. Using the mirrors and the laser, we were able to actually bend light to go around an object so we can see what normally would be hidden. Our ability to manipulate light is one of the most important tools that we have today in order to help us see this wonderful world around us. The lenses and glasses help us see small objects that are very far away. We make those lenses more extreme. We get the lenses used in microscopes or telescopes. They help us see the world's smallest, little tiniest objects or the world's farthest objects in the universe. Using microscopes, we help discover cells the organelles of cells, what's made up of our cells. Using telescopes, we can discover distant galaxies. The photos and videos that you watch on TV are all because of specially designed lenses and mirrors, both in the cameras and the television that helps us see in 4K. Are you starting to see how important light really is? I hope this video has enlightened you I hope this video has enlightened you to the importance of manipulating light. As always, happy sciencing!